everybody, it's Kathy, and welcome to today's Mighty Mini. Today's Mighty Mini workout is a kettlebell and or dumbbell workout. So if you have a kettlebell, you can use your kettlebell all the way through. If you, have a, if you don't have a kettlebell and all you have is a dumbbell, that will work too, okay? Just feel a little differently through some of the exercises because they are two totally different pieces of equipment, but you're gonna get great results either one you choose. All right, so let's get it started. Let's get some uh, warm up underway and we'll get our workout in and out today. All right, so let's take it into a squat rotator. So you're gonna have one hand come down, the other hand's gonna go straight to the sky. So you're gonna sink down, you're gonna come to the center and switch. Push those hips back. So the fingertips are coming right between those feet. Big rotation through that core. Sit onto those heels. Excellent. Breathe. Just feel that body starting to warm, guys. Don't push it if it's stiff. Just make the move smaller, and as your body gradually warms up, you'll be able to get a bigger range of motion. Yep, let's go. Eight more. Seven more. Here's six. And five. And four. And three. And two. You got it. Last one right here. So we're just going to shuffle. You're going to give me a cross jab and cross. All right, so it's a little pivot. Turn that body. Big, strong jab across. Yeah. Cross. So pack a little punch there as you turn that body, okay? Give me everything you got. Good warm up, good workout. And we're going to take those punches overhead. Huh. Yeah, huh. Good job. Come on. Excellent. Stay with the guys. We're going to go back to those cross jabs after two more here. Nice. We're going to take it to those cross. Perfect. You're going to do one more each side. And then we just got one last little round here. So we're going to take the punches down, down, down. So turn your shoulders and rotate down towards that foot. Ha. You got it. Good job. Hoop. Got about 10 seconds. Punch down. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Coming into a nice wide stance. Toes are slightly flared apart. You're going to sink into a nice big sumo. As you come up, you're going to give me a big knee lift to the opposite side. So this always makes me think of a sumo wrestler. You know how their legs are just so big, all right? So then they, when they walk, they kind of do a sumo stance because they can't bring their legs together because they're too big. So lift, up, lift, yes. So you're getting a great stretch in those inner thighs, your booty, come on, oh, perfect. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, yeehaw, three, two, here's one more, ha, shake it out. So we're going to do a little pass through split lunge. So you're going to step forward, step back, and we're going to add a reach, and a reach. So you're going to reach for that toe, bending down, head stays in neutral. Good. Strong. How you doing? Step forward, step back, reaching for your foot. You got four, four, three, three, two, two. You can give me one more. One and one. Come on up. Hug the stationary leg. Who's doing all the work for you? Hug it in. All right, we're going to switch legs. Do the same thing on your side. Here we go. Get the motion going first, and then we'll add that reach. Down, 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 down. Come on. Beautiful. Good job. That stationary leg is feeling a lot of burn. Last four. Three. 
two, because your last one. Ha. Hug that knee. All right, so we're going to come into a power jack. It's going to reach to your toes. Jack it up. Hup. Hup. Got it. All the way down. I also call these toe jacks. All the way. Come on, reach for your toes. Jack it up. Last eight. Seven more. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Roll it out. Got one last stretch, guys. I want you to come down into a plank position. Just gonna go into some spider rotations. So plank position. Woo, wrist, elbow, shoulder in line. You're gonna step one foot in, then you're gonna rotate to that side, and then you're gonna switch. So just go at a flow that feels right for you. Alternate step. Try to get a nice big step in and a nice strong rotation to each side. Yep. We're gonna do one more each side. All right, here's your last one here. Take it back into your plank position. Walk your hands to meet your feet and slowly pull your body up. Let's pull those shoulders back and down. Grab a nice inhale, exhale. You got it, we're ready for our workout. Shoulder rolls. Clasp those hands, press it forward. Give yourself a little calf stretch. Nice work, let's do the other side. So quick warm up for our quick workout. All right guys, here's what we got. So we've got three rounds of a 20-20-20. It's about six minutes and we're gonna flow from each side to the next. So you're gonna have three exercises, 20 seconds at a time. Let me demo them really quick. All right, so we're gonna do a squat clean. So right here, you're gonna come up, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna rack that kettlebell or your weight here. Now when we rack it, we tuck the elbow, we pull it in, and we don't do this. We don't want it flopping. So if that's a problem for you, you're gonna use your hand to manipulate it into that crook. So I want it here, right resting into your bicep. All right, I don't want it out here. I don't want that weight to go all the way out here. All right, so you control it up if you need that hand. Otherwise, it's a nice flip of the wrist. All right, then we're gonna take that into a clean lunge. So it'll be like this, 20 seconds, and then you're gonna go right back to your clean, and you're gonna add a press. Then you're gonna switch hands, do the exact same thing on the other side. It's a flow. So it's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. You're gonna do six rounds, alternating sides. Okay, I'm gonna get my timer here. My timer dropped. All right, let's get you started, mister. Oh, what is going on here? All right, here we go, guys. Have your way ready. You're gonna start on one side. Remember that squat clean. Pulling that elbow in. Rotating that wrist. That thumb should stay up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ha. Now I've got a 15, which is a little light for me. So I might swap out my 20 at some point. It's right by me. Come on. Now if you're using a weight, it's the same concept. The only thing is you're not doing as much flipping. You're doing a little bit, but it's a little bit easier with a free weight. You got four seconds, and we're gonna add that clean lunge. All right, here we go. Clean it. Ah. Ah. So you're catching it. Ah. Racking it in that bicep. So the weight should be in the front of your body, 10 seconds. Ha. Beautiful. Now you're gonna stay with your squat, clean, and press. So after this one, we switch sides. Good, watch that arm. Clean it, press it. Good job. So if your weight is too light, and you have a kettlebell, you might be flopping it, so sometimes it is better to have a slightly heavier one. All right, switch sides. Clean. Other side. Rack it, pull that elbow in. Resting on your bicep, yeah. It's dynamic. Nice. You're going into your lunge. I'm gonna move my timer here so I don't step on it. In three seconds. All right, add your clean. Simultaneous lunge, yeah. I like to pull my hand out. So 
sometimes I'm noticing my body's flipping that weight. So you gotta really exercise, control, drive. Come on. There you go. All right, do that your squat, plane and press. Dynamic. Remember, don't be afraid to use that hand if your arm is flopping. Might be harder on one side of your body, it is for me. Have some switch sides from the top. Yeah, there's no rest. Come on. How you doing? Come on. Your lunges are on deck with your cleans in seven seconds. All right, here we go. Clean it. Lunge. Ha. Abs in, chest out, head up. Up. Dynamic. Ah, brace those abs. Yeah. Strong, guys. Own it like you're a boss. Let's go. All right, clean. Good job, guys. 12 seconds and we switch sides. These are called flows. So they flow one after the other. And switch. Up, clean. Pull the elbow. Pull. Don't let that weight flip. Raise your abs as you do this. Up. Stand tall. Chest proud. Lunges in five. Here we go. We switch arms for the last round. Come on. 
All right, so remember, these might be mini workouts, but they pack a punch. So give me your all. Got no excuses. One more. And you are done. Howie. Woo! All right, towel off. Let's grab some water. Ooh, I'm feeling those. Guys, so we have three exercises here that we are going to do. Let's see what time we got here. Um, I think we can do them. All right, so here's what we got. These next three, we're gonna do one minute. All right, you're gonna do one minute of each three, and then we're gonna repeat it one more time, and then we're gonna go into some one and dones, okay? So have a medium, I'm actually gonna go a little bit heavier here. I'm gonna go with my 20s. So all of these have a two rep theme to them. All right, so you're gonna give me two deadlifts right side. One, two, then you're gonna hop forward, quick back, and then you're gonna switch. One, squeezing your butt cheeks, two, quick, quick. Of course, if you don't wanna jump, you don't have to. All right, we're going in three, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two, oh, two, oh, oh, quick, quick, my knees are soft, oh, my hips are back, quick, quick, so I'm right in position to pick up that weight when I come back, low, low, squeeze your glutes, inner thighs, you're about the halfway mark. That weight should right be right between your feet. Good. Come on. Keep that head up. Awesome. Let's go. Keep alternating. Beautiful. You got one more side. I'm going to finish with my two hops. Awesome. All right. That was beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go into two rows and you're gonna switch. So you're gonna turn your weight so it's handle facing straight down instead of across. You're gonna give me bend over, you're gonna give me two nice rows. You're gonna switch two nice rows. All right, so you're switching at the bottom, coming up. Now, if you have a weight, you don't have to drop it to the floor. You can just tap, 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 toss it off. You actually can do the same with the kettlebell if that's easier for you or better for you. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, come up. Two, I'm gonna try passing it off. Up, up. So, my knees are bent. My head is in neutral. Core strong. So you should really feel those abs. That hand is reaching down so you really feel that rotational pull going on the opposite side of your core. Come on. Strong. Two rows. Breathe it out. You're getting close. If your back is hurting here, change your position and give yourself a rest. Make sure you're in really good alignment here with those knees bent, that you're not here, because if you're here, you're going to feel this in that back. Last one. Oh. Woo! Felt every inch of that. Okay, we're going back to our two two. So you're gonna give me two high pulls on the right. All right, then you're gonna give me two deep sumo oblique knee lifts. Then you switch two and two. All right, same heavy. You got four sec. Uh, three, two, two high pulls. One. Here we go. One, two. Put it down. One. Get low. Two, pick it up, other hand. One, two, big sumos. Ha, ha, straight down, straight up, other hand. One, two, sink it down. One, two, other hand. One, two, get low. Up, down. Yeah, say hi to your abs here. Up, knees to the outside of your body. How you doing? Huh? I love this one. Come on. 
Come on. Oblique. Oblique. One more. Yes. And yes. All right. Shake it out. Quick water break. And we're going to go right into those one more time. Double dose. Switching gears. One and done. Yowza. Sliding like a little demon here. Okay. Right back to your weights. Little dynamic duo. All right, double rows, double drop and hops. Staying heavy. Your one minute is gonna start. Remember, you're just picking it up two times, forward, back, hop in three, two, one. Squeeze. Up. Up. Switch. Switch. Gaze is forward. Low, low. So you're already in position safely to pick up that weight. Squeeze. Now, when you stand, I don't want you arching your back. You just extend those legs. Yeah. So you're getting some really strong, large muscle group work here in those legs. Your core is still working. And of course, that heart is still pumping. You got it, guys. Come on. You got your rows on deck. Are you feeling your thighs? Yeah. Come on. You'll have one more on the other side. One, two, forward back. Okay. All right, you got your double row and switch. So it's very essential that you watch your back here. All right, I don't want you hunched over. Neck is long. I'm gonna turn this way. Remember, you're gonna turn your kettlebell. Three, two, one. One, two. Head and neck is here. All right, I don't want you slouched down. Keep that neck long. As that hip reaches towards the floor, really using your abs here. So my back is super safe. I'm really focusing on my arm, the upper delt of my shoulder. Yeah, halfway. And here I'm wondering why am I sweating more than normal? I didn't turn my fan on. I am like ready to die here. Come on. Most feels like I'm being outdoors. Come on. Woo! 15 seconds. Oh. Abs on fire. Woo! Give me one more each way. Come on. All right, I'm gonna turn my fans on to give you a little extra break here. All right. We're going into our last round of our two high pulls, sumo obliques. Okay. So our last round through, two high pulls. I'm gonna start left side, two sumo knees, face outward in three, two, one. A zip, that weight should be in the midline of your body. Lift, straight down, lift. On your side, up, up, lift, up, lift. You're going straight down, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Beautiful. Standing abs, guys, they are my favorite. Laying on your back is not the most functional in the ab department. But this, oh yeah, come on now. Yeah, come on, really lift that knee. We're gonna do one more on the other side. Let's do it. Come on. One, two simu here. Oh. All right, towel off. You guys cranked it. All right, guys, you got a one and done sequence. Woo! All right. My heart, we got up high in those. Grab some water. I've got a puddle of sweat on the floor here. All right, so I want you to grab one weight or dumbbell or cardi up kettlebell. We're gonna do something called a pass through, but we're gonna do a tiptoe um, lunge, okay? So typically, sometimes we do a tiptoe squat where our heel is up and our toe is down and we squat. But this is gonna be the same concept, only you're going to have a kettlebell or dumbbell in front of you. You're gonna keep your heel up. 
All right, so we always have the heel up when we lunge behind us, but we usually put the foot down. All right, but you're going to lean into this. Knee tracks over your ankles. I don't want to see you here. All right, so you need to stay safe here, making a, a bending that knee and an L so that body's in straight alignment. Same thing forward, same thing back. If it is too challenging for you to do with a weight, do with no weight. All right, you got 30 seconds. All right, tiptoe it out. I'm moving my right leg forward and back in three, two, one. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Keep that heel up. So we are activating our calves here. Your quad of the stationary leg and your butt should be feeling this halfway. Slow and easy. Remember, this is a one and done. So you know what? Let's do an extra 10 seconds here. Let's make it 40 seconds. I'm feeling them. Here's your last. Let's do two more. One forward, one back. Oh, uh, now put that weight down. So you're gonna tap, drive. So you're gonna push right off the leg that you were moving. Power. Come on. Push off. Ten seconds. Drive. Three, two, one more. Good job. Okay, we're switching sides. All right, hip toe. Forward back, 40 seconds. Here we go. Keep your heel up. Heel up, tiptoe. Remember, with a tiny Tim, tiptoe through the two lefts. Oh, woo! Ten seconds. Are you burning? Ah. After this, one more forward and back. Wow. All right. Job, guys, come on. Woo. Three, two, one. Hold. Woo. Holy moly. All right. Oh. You got my heart rate. Yeah, I was up there. All right, guys. So we got two more exercises left. So you might want to lighten your load here. We're going to come up to a wide plie stance. All right. Toes are semi-staked out. When we do sumos, our toes are flared out more. Plie is a theater a little more forward. So we're going to sink back, but we're going to do this with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You're going to add a plie to this. All right, so you want a good wide stance. All right, it's too much for you. Don't give me the plie, just give me the arms. Remember, it's a one and done. All right, here we go. Push your hips back. Those knees track over your ankles, elbows squeeze together. Head faces forward. into my cardio zone, 145. All right, here's your last and final. 
And this is gonna raise your, your heart rate too. So if you're feeling it, I want you to modify. You're gonna give me a front raise. Alternate toe, or alternate tap out. Otherwise, it's a jack. Now you're gonna slowly jack down, especially if you have a heavy kettlebell. All right, the bottom of your kettlebell or your free weight. So if you have a free weight, you can do this like this to simulate a kettlebell, or you can hold each end, which is gonna make it slightly easier. All right, here we go. Bottom of your kettlebell to the floor. Roll your shoulders. Jack or tap in three, two, one. Now, I don't want you going any higher than your shoulders. All right, so when we're here, hop. I'm resetting. Plus, my kettlebell is slippery. Out. Two last 20 seconds. Then we go to the floor. We finish with abs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you did it. All right, leave me on the floor. All right, I'm gonna go grab some water first. All right, kettlebell or dumbbell. We're going to go into a V-set, balancing. So level one, your feet will stay on the ground. You're going to pull the abs in. You're going to slightly sink back. Shoulders are long. Back. All right, so for 20 seconds, you're going to give me a wrapped hold. Now, you could be here for 20 seconds, or you can bring that arm out, lift the elbow, and hold in a goal post. All right, so you can do that with a free weight, too. All right, you got 20 seconds. Right arm, you're gonna come back center. We're gonna switch 20 seconds, left arm. Then we're gonna hold it in the center and we're gonna reach and pull overhead. 20 seconds. All right, so it's one minute. In three, two, one. Now your body, look at yourself. Are you in straight alignment? Is your body tipping left and right? Look at your shoes. Toes should be lined. Counterbalancing, that opposite ab is fighting to gain control in five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, here we go. Other side. Stay with what's right for you. Knees up, arm out, balance 20. Oh yeah. Where are those feet? Line them up. When you look at your knees, they should be next to each other. Wow. Do you feel it? Oh. Breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was hard. Okay, we're gonna go into just that V-sit, overhead press the entire time, up, down, 20 seconds. All right, you can also do this as a hold. Here we go, balance it out. feel this. Of course my abs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my lord. Ha. Huh. All right, so I want you to take one weight or kettlebell. You're going to rack it right in front of your body. You're going to put your hand on it. You're going to give me a roll back. You're going to keep your legs tight. Let me show you what I don't want to see after I show you what I want to see. Here's what I want to see. Balance on your sit bones, feet off the floor. When you wrap back, your knees stay tucked and you hold here for about a second or two, no longer. And you wrap back. You're holding that kettlebell or weight in front of you. And what I don't want to see is this. I don't want those legs going cockamamie on me. They're staying tight like you're a tucked little ball. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Now the heavier your weight, the harder these are. Feel what's going on in 
the opposite side of your abs. Five more. Here's four. This is 30 seconds. Three. Two to go. One more. Hmm. Oh. Switch sides. Woo! Brutal, right? All right, say switch sides, guys. Rack it up. Your stabilizers are working so hard for you. All right, rack it in. Here we go. Up. On. Keep those knees tucked. Force your abs to do the work. Bring those feet together, bring one leg over, hug it in, peel your shoulders, push that knee into your shin, extend that leg, roll your head back, press hard into that shin, so you're feeling a nice release here, and in that figure four, hold it, point your toe, flex point, flex point, roll, relax, bend that knee, and bring it down, good work guys, switch legs, press it over, hug it in, Feel your shoulders. Make sure you're putting some pressure from that back bent knee. Head down, extend that leg. Push hard, point flex. Point flex, point flex, roll. Reverse. Bend the knee, and bring it down. All right, bring your hands underneath your knees. Half spiral roll for four. For three. Four or two. Last one. And power yourself all the way up. Flats of your feet together. Butterfly stretch. I want you to sit up tall. I want you to think of your knees spiraling. Let me get this out of the way. So your knees coming to the floor, but not in a flutter or a bounce. Just pushing, internalizing the stretch from that inner thigh and pushing down through those knees. You should feel a nice, big opening. 
pull. It does feel good. All right, so bring one leg back, rotate, back to center, flop, rotate, center, flop, rotate, center, flop, rotate. One more. You're going to hold this one. And give yourself a big stretch back. Lower down, flip flop, other side. Rotate first. Reach up. And coming down, walk your feet forward. Rise onto those tiptoes. Hike your hips slow and easy. Hold here, one arm comes all the way up. And down, other side. And down, bring your body up. Big roll. Pull it back for four, for three, for two, for one. Big circles forward for four, for three, for two, for one. Big ginormous inhale up. I want you to come to your heart center. I want you to give yourself a beautiful round of applause. That was killer. I'm looking at my heart rate already. Look at my calorie burn. Like 340 calories in a 40 minute workout. It's pretty darn good. Plus you're going to continue to burn. All right, it's not all about the calories, but it kind of does as a good indicator to show what kind of work you put into your workout. All right, I hope you enjoyed your Mighty Mini. Hope you enjoy your day. Um, I hope to see, ah, almost killed myself there. I hope to see you guys soon and take it easy and be well. Bye.